you may all remember uh, during the kind of 2020 election, Trump trying to pressure election officials um, era, one of the characters in this whole terrible, horrible, uh, concerning moment in American history was Rusty Bowers. And he, at the time, was the Speaker of the House of Arizona. And Trump and Rudy Giuliani called him up while they were trying to overturn the election results in between the November election and um, Trump leaving office in January of 2021 and called Rusty Bowers, similar to how they called Brad Raffensperger, and try to get him to work with them to overturn the election results in the state of Arizona, Arizona being one of those swing states that Joe Biden won. And we've now learned that Rusty Bowers, the Speaker of the House at the time, no longer um, from Arizona, he disclosed during a recent CNN interview that we'll look at that he has been cooperating with the FBI. He was interviewed for four hours by the FBI in regard to their investigation into Trump's attempts to overturn um, the 2020 election in a potentially unlawful, unconstitutional manner. And so uh, before we look at that interview moment, this is being reported on by The Hill, ex-Arizona House Speaker, says he's spoken to FBI in 2020 election probe. Former uh, Arizona House Speaker Rusty Bowers on Wednesday revealed that he has been interviewed by the FBI in connection with the 2020 election probe. And then it cites some quotes that we'll see him say in this interview. Bowers testified before the House Select Committee investigating the January 6, 2021 Capitol riot last year, where he refuted former President uh, Trump's description of a phone call between the two of them during the 2020 election and said he was pressured by the former president and his foreign personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, to overturn President Biden's victory in Arizona. And before looking at the thing that made news uh, being the CNN interview, let me remind you about some of what Rusty Bauer said during the January 6th select committee hearings um, about his decision to stand against the attempts by Trump, Giuliani, and others to subvert the will of the people in the state of Arizona. And he pressed that point, and I said, look, you are asking me to do something that is counter to my oath when I swore to the Constitution to uphold it, and I also swore to the Constitution and the laws of the state of Arizona, and this is totally foreign as a, an idea or a theory to me, and I would never do anything of such magnitude without deep consultation with qualified attorneys. And I said, I've got some good attorneys, and I'm going to give you their names. Uh, but you're asking me to do something against my oath, and I will not break my oath. There you go. Which is what every single individual should have answered when asked, um, and many of them did. But every single one, including those in Trump's orbit, should have said this is a violation of our Constitution, our obligation to the Constitution, to our democratic process. And even if we hate Joe Biden or love Trump or whatever it might be, we're not going along with these actions uh, to overturn a free and fair election. With that being said, here was Rusty Bowers on CNN with Caitlin Collins disclosing that he has been um, giving information to the FBI about this phone call. Ask me for opinions. You are. <laughs> yes, I, I but, um, but have, have you he's, been, he's, have, he's, Rusty, have I'm you, sure. we talked about your call with, with Trump and with Giuliani, as you just mentioned there, they were both on that phone call. Have you been subpoenaed by the special counsel? Uh, I ha oh, that's a great question. I. I'm hesitant to talk about any subpoenas, et cetera, but I have been interviewed by the FBI. In the January 6th investigation? Uh, or excuse me, I in the effort to overturn the election results? Correct. It was four hours of, of, uh, of a discussion that they had with me. When Very was, professional. When was that interview? Uh, it was a few couple of months ago, three months ago. About the same time frame, actually. There we go. Um, and the reason this is so important is because as more and more individuals get involved in this investigation, obviously you're going to have more information possibly disclosed, more evidence gathered. But also, and 
before I finish out this point, this is from the Washington Post. Uh, in a phone call in late 2020, President Donald Trump tried to pressure Arizona Governor Doug Ducey to overturn the state's presidential election results. So uh, Speaker of the House at the time, he was pressuring, and the governor over on the Georgia side, also doing this with the Secretary of State and the Speaker of the House at the time. And so as you get more and more stories from different places across the country and a similar effort, a similar plan, we're going to try to overturn the election results. Here, here's what we would need you to do as a Speaker of the House to make that happen. You realize and uh, a future possible jury will be able to realize this was a coordinated effort. This was not Trump just impulsively saying something on a call, find me 11,780 votes, but uh, it wasn't actually a conspiracy with other individuals, a plan being made to actually go and unlawfully um, pressure election officials to overturn a free and fair election. As you get more and more people involved with the same sort of story told, you realize, okay, if all this was happening and it was happening over the course of weeks, this was uh, an intentional effort plan being put forward um, by Trump and his allies. And if it can be proven to be unlawful, then Trump should be held accountable for that. Because as I've said many times, we cannot have someone who used their office as president to attempt to subvert the will of the people and overthrow our democratic process. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel.